Hey guys, welcome back to Lubori TV. Following the deadline of the Independent National Electoral Commission for all political parties to submit their official presidential and vice presidential candidates list to the commission latest this week, we have seen the presidential flag bearer of the All Progressives Congress, Ashwajibola Metinubu, submit his. He officially returned his completed nomination forms to the Independent Commission um, yesterday. Or rather, earlier this week. According to the electoral law and INA guidelines, they were supposed to, or they or all the political parties were admonished to make sure that by the end of this week, they submitted the party, um, they submitted their names. Here at Tolubori TV, we have tried to bring you news and updates on how the things are going on that front. Now, here's where the gist becomes interesting. At first, it was on a hush hush who Ashiwaju picked as his running mate. All efforts to reach the APC National Publicity Secretary, Mr. Felix Mocha, to confirm if indeed a surrogate's name had been filed for Tinubu's running mate proved abortive. But when we're able to contact the director of the Tinubu campaign organization, Bayo Nonuga, he mentioned that it was Ibrahim Masari that was submitted to the commission. He said, and I quote, yes, the name is Ibrahim Masari. He once worked as a member of the National Working Committee when Adams Oshomole was in charge of the APC Excos. He is not really a surrogate per se. He is just holding the fort. The Electoral Act stipulates that candidates have the window period to substitute up till sometime in August. Ashwaju will use that time to continue consulting with the party, governors, and the president. He is taking his time and does not want to rush it. When asked why it took so long to get a competent and sellable candidate for the post of the vice president, Mr. Adonaga said that the piece, the um, presidential candidate flag bearer, that's in person of Tinubu, believes in due process. He just wants to carry everybody along, he said. Even the elections will take place in 2023 and the campaign would st wouldn't start until September. The window period is still long. There's no need to rush anything about it. I think, according to him, that we have fulfilled our own part by submitting the name as required before the window of INEC closes. End of quote. Social media erupted yesterday when this was announced. A lot of people were caught blindsided. Even I, at first, was because I expected it to be, okay, you everybody knows you want to go for a muslim vp so why not just pick the person that you it's so obvious that you want to pick but seeing how this played out for the pdp i wouldn't be so sure that it is going to be a particular candidate for the pdp i was so sure it was going to be governor in some week and we saw how that played out so for now typically i would say it was going to be one of either kasim shetima or um, Ganduje. But at this point, anything can happen. But the idea of using a surrogate to bypass this deadline appears to not sit well with a lot of people. How do I know this? The same scenario played out for the Labour Party. The Director General of the Peter Obi campaign organization, Dr. Doni Okupe, on Friday claimed the vice presidential aspirant or claimed to be the vice presidential aspirant of the party. Okupe disclosed this while speaking with Politics Today, a, a, a channel TV program monitored by um, the person of Sheung Oki. 
the idea that okay a deadline is coming we have to submit a name that name may not be the actual person we want but just to because if a deadline pass and you haven't submitted the name it's it will cause problems for the party going forward i don't even think they would be able to leading up to the election if they didn't meet up with this deadline so Tinubu used Ibrahim Asari, and it is appearing that Peter Obi is using um, Dr. Doin Okupe. Of course, when this was announced, social media went into a meltdown. The supporters of Peter Obi saw the idea behind this. But of course, the opposition, the supporters of the opposition did not. And it is funny because Tinubu did the same thing. Well, people did not attack Tinubu for doing this. It is Peter Obi that was attacked. Or it was the Labour Party that was attacked for doing this. Mr. Doing said, we complied with the electoral body. And in doing so, we believe that choosing a vice presidential candidate is part of the electoral process. INEC allows you to present a candidate. And if you want to substitute said candidate, you may. As of today, as I am speaking, I am the vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party. Following reports of a possible merger between the New Nigeria's People's Party, um, Rabiu Konkoso and the Labour Party, Peter Obi, we all felt that, okay, one of these two will be the VP, one will be the president. But it appears that the deliberations, that the merger is not complete. But I know that very soon it should be because at this point in time we have reached a very critical juncture where all cards should be put on the table the term false nine for those that watch football you understand what a false nine means the term false nine trended on social media because that's what these people were called. These so-called surrogates, these placeholders, these um, stand-ins, the likes of Ibrahim Masari and Dr. Don Yokupe. False nine trended on social media. False nine means a nine that is not a nine. So these people are vice presidential candidates that are not actually the vice presidential candidates of their respective parties. Who will Tinubu go for? Who will Peter Obi go for? If the merger between the LP and the NNPP does pull through and it doesn't fall flat on its face like everybody seems to think, if it is successful, who will be the VP? Who will be the president? I know who, I, who it is I want. Who do you want? And do you think that this bypass, because in essence, that's what they did. They tried to bypass a certain stipulation in the constitution. Do you think that what they have done now, we opened the door for people doing this along the line, people using this method to circumvent the constitution? It's not illegal, but it's just that nobody has done this before. What do you think? Please let us know in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Also, click on the notification button. So next time, Arrivederci. Hi guys, welcome to Olubori TV, your favorite entertainment and trendy gist channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that you can know whenever we drop new videos. And also, watch out for our comedy skit here on this channel every Saturday and Sunday, as well as everyday gist on politics and everything around the entertainment world. Visit our website at www.oluburitv.com and also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok at Oluburi underscore TV. Thank you.